Look, an issue uh, that is perennial, is as perennial as the grass in this country, unfortunately, is the problem of domestic violence. Um, and it has been decades now that this issue has been out in the public arena and we've been trying to deal with it, not always successfully. We make some progress. But one organisation that deals just in the everyday with the downstream of domestic violence, which is most often men upon women and often involves children, is Women's Refuge, which is a collection of organisations which provide exactly that refuge for those who are the victims of uh, domestic violence and abuse, a safe ha haven where people can go with their children and be protected in the storm of domestic abuse. Uh, I think it's a great organisation, and but it does do one thing, it has to put its hand out for a lot of funding. And it runs regular appeals. They've got a new one underway at the moment, and to find out more about that, we're joined by the CEO of Women's Refuge New Zealand, Ange Jury. Ange, lovely to talk to you again. How are you? Um, kia ora, Sean. Yeah, good as gold. Looking forward to Christmas? Yeah. I, I Very we, much looking forward to Christmas. I think we all are. But you got a, you got a bit of work to do. you got a new campaign on. Okay. Tell us about it. Okay, well, what we're trying to do this year, Sean, is... Um, you know, the vast majority of New Zealanders, I think, um, are, are fully aware of how good summer can feel sometimes you know I think many of us um, have really good memories of sitting back in the sunshine with a glass of something cold watching a nice sunset something like that you know all the really nice all the positives with Christmas yeah yeah and what we want to do this year is just make people think about the fact that for a whole bunch of New Zealand families uh, that's not the case. You know, the, the summer isn't something to look forward to. Christmas isn't something to look forward to. It's, it's a time of uh, more stress. It's a time of um, financial worry. It's a time of really not good things. And, you know, that's what we want people to be aware of. And, of course, um, you know, alongside that, um, making people think. Um, we also want, of course, to raise some money as you... Yeah. pointed out in your intro, you know. Yeah. So how can people mm. help? How can they demonstrate their support? Well, I mean, two ways. I mean, they can help their refuges locally, and that's just a matter of um, looking up their local refuge and getting in touch and saying, hey, what would help out for Christmas? Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it's people who might want to do something about, you know, festive food or yep. presents or something like that, or they can go to our Safe Nights campaign. Mm -hmm. So easy to find. And it's a simple button click. And for $20, you um, are helping us to make uh, someone's life safe. All right. So the Safe night. Nights campaign, where do they get onto that? On the Women's Refuge website? Uh, it's on the Women's Refuge website. I mean, a simple Google search for Safe Nights. Right, um, right pops it up as well. We made it as easy to find and as easy to do as we can. And, you know, for for the price of two, two and a half, three coffees, yeah. um, you can be doing something really good for people. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. Angie, yeah. you know, I know, and in the conversations I've had with you over years, mm. financial pressure is a huge precursor to domestic yeah. violence and domestic problems. We have got a Reserve Bank governor and a government telling us there is a recession coming halfway through next year. Mm. We have got interest yep. rates going up and cost of living going up. That seems to me to be incredibly bad news for your organisation and what it does. Financial pressure on families is mm. spiking upwards right now. Yeah, it's, it's not... I can't see it doing anything good for us. You know, we know that... While it doesn't, while those sorts of pressures don't cause the violence, it certainly creates the perfect incubator yep. for it. You know, it makes people anxious, it makes people frightened, and it makes people angry. And those are the sorts of uh, emotions that are so unhelpful for us. So, yeah, we're, we're, I'm a little bit worried um, about what we're coming into. But, hey, when if you look at it, you know, we, we get through these things. 
this isn't the first time the country's faced this. Yeah. Um, I just hope that the consequences uh, aren't, as, aren't, aren't too bad yeah. for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ange, how many people, how many, well, women predominantly and children are likely to end up spending Christmas or the festive season in a refuge? Well, every night averaged across the year, there's somewhere between 200 and 240 uh, women and children that are sleeping in a refuge bed. And alongside that, we have another several hundred who are uh, within our family protect service. So they're the people that are living with a panic alarm and a panic room, safe room in the house. Um, so several hundred women um, on any given night of any given week of any given year, sadly. Yeah, I'd like... Not, not getting a lot better. No, it's got to, though, eventually. We've got to be able to break the mm. back of this eventually, uh, Ange. Um, yeah, I think so. Ange, I will encourage people... I must have a talk to you. We're quite, I'd be quite happy to run some community messaging about this. It doesn't cost you anything. We've got time on the platform. Um, oh, you're we'll, a lovely bloke, Sean, thank oh, you. I'd be quite happy to do that. We've got time over summer. So we'll, let's have a talk in the next week or two. And we'll okay. roll something out for that. I think that's uh, a way we can help. And I thank you for joining us this morning, as always. Just give us a bell, Sean, and thank you for having me on. Good on you. Ange Jury, the CEO of Women's Refuge New Zealand. Um, so 250, 300 people spending Christmas, will be spending Christmas hiding. And hiding in a refuge. Imagine that. Imagine that. Safe nights. Google safe nights. 20 bucks. Gives you someone a night of safety. Isn't that a cool thing to do? Isn't that a great Christmas uh, present to give? Um, and we will talk about doing some stuff for Women's Refuge here on the platform over the break. I think that's the least we can do.